Hey, Tracy here with BibleJillingMinistries.com and today I have an unboxing of a mystery box that Dayspring sent me. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so Dayspring sent me a message the other day and said they were going to send me a mystery box and I didn't have to show it to anybody, but they wanted to <laughs> you know, just kind of promote their Christmas shop that they just released this week. So as of this filming, this is October 6th, they have their new Christmas shop open and they are celebrating with free shipping. So if you are interested in getting your Christmas gifts early, which I highly, highly, highly recommend this year, uh, because we do have some problems with ship, uh, uh, shipping and uh, containers and things like that. Uh, I would recommend getting your Christmas presents early, early, early if you can, if you can. Okay, so I'm gonna do this unboxing and see what they sent. Quite a, quite a number of items. Uh, the first one here is One Step Closer Devotional Guide from Warrior to Warrior. Interesting, this is by Candace Cameron Burr. Looks like it retails for $19.99. And it says, what if uh, you could take all your worries head on? If um, in the One Step Closer devotional guide from warrior to warrior, you learn how to stare down your worries and tell them you're no longer afraid because you're a strong, brave warrior who has the almighty God standing with you. During this 30 day journey, you'll discover life changing power of taking your thoughts captive and learn how Candace overcame worry in her life. Interacting journaling prompts helped you identify and conquer all that holds you back from accomplishing God's great plan for your life. All right, well, let's check this out. So uh, this looks like it is a devotional guide name, start date and end date. Um, and it's 30 days. And we'll note how to use the guide messaging from her. Okay. So we have a note here, and then we have um, a, an area called Think It. Think on it. Ooh, I like the, I like the design in the back here. Okay, so we have Think on it. When was the last time you were rolling along and some worry popped up and crowded out your joy? What was that worry, and what did you do with it? Okay, so you just kind of work through these. Which two or three worries have you have been most frequently on your mind? And then there's a Bible verse there. Um, the pages here are actually pretty thick, so if you want to use, you know, a marker or something like that, a marker is probably going to bleed through, but you can definitely use a good pen on this. Um, you can also use watercolor. I don't think it'll bleed through as well if you want to do any paints on it. Of course, your acrylic paints, your Posca pens, your gel pens, they're going to work just fine in this if you want to add a little bit of color to it, but there's plenty of color. Okay, so then we have, so we have Think on it, then we have Think on it more. And then we have act on it. So my concerns, my praises. I like that. Then we have some more verses and it says pop on over for a video from me on today's topic. Ooh, well, okay. So day one was titled, I missed it. So sorry, guys. I get so excited sometimes and I just want to play with it. This one is all day, every day. And um, you have Psalm 16, one through two, and then five here and then some uh looks like some verses some verses from verses a devotion a little note from candace here then you have your questions to answer you know things to think about more verses um and then the action part of it here and then a video well that's cool let's check this out and then day two the night watch Verses, 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 a note. So the devotion comes next. Then we have think on it, some more devotion, some more writing, and then acting on it. Um, so this is kind of like the journaling section and there's a, a video. Hey, this is cool. Failure isn't fatal. And then verses, verses, verses. Then we're gonna write a little bit about it. We're gonna do some journaling, some action things. This is really good whenever you're writing out your failures and then you're reframing it. Let's see what they say. Because our words have power, here's a chance for you to reframe the entire concept below. Fill in the numbered list on the left with 10 phrases 
that you or people you know commonly use to refer to failure in the number list on the right. Start to build a new vocabulary, one that reflects what God can do and what you're learning as you get to know him through his perspective. Ooh, I like this. Example, falling down could be reclassified as falling forward. With time and practice, you'll notice more positive wording seeping into your attitude and outlook. And this is one way that God transforms us. Yeah, I I believe that. And I constantly tell um, people that I talk to um, to try to do some reframing. I think more and more, the more um, positive things that you kind of surround yourself with and look for and actively seek, the more positive things you will find. <laughs> um, watch where you look. And then, okay, so I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but this is pretty intense. And... Um, if you are someone who is, you know, struggling these days and who isn't these days, let me tell you, this is something that you might want to take a peek at or someone you can give a gift to something like this. And this would be really great with the Bible, the one step closer Bible that she did. So those, I mean, it really does match really nicely with it. So I wonder if they're going to come out with more like different devotional guides uh, based on all the topics of that particular Bible. So that is so exciting. Again, if you order any of the, the Christmas items, uh, you do get the free shipping, which is awesome. Um, and I think that lasts until October 11th. All right, let's see what else we have. Okay, all right, we have some beautiful cards. Uh, let's see. So these cards, are there 18 cards and 19 envelopes? You know, I don't know if you guys know this, but Dayspring was originally just a card company. So <laughs> now they have all kinds of fun things. Ooh, there's a lot of glitter in this. This is very nice. All right, so we have, they're all the same. So let's check it out. So you have a nice gold, beautiful, fancy envelope. Just makes me feel so fancy with the gold liner to that. When you get right down to it, the only thing that really matters is Jesus. Well, that's truth. Preach it. Preach it. It says, celebrating the true meaning of Christmas with you. And then here we have, now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John 17, 3 NIV. And then a little bit about the story about um, behind Dayspring, 50, celebrating 50 years. Praise God for 50 years. Wow, I love that. Okay, and so then there's some cards that they sent. Okay, and then we have here a box, and that is it in the mystery, mystery box. So this is a mug. It says, Thrill of Hope. Now this re mug retails for $9.99. And I'm always wondering about like glass or or ceramics or anything that come in the mail. I'm always wondering if it's broken, but th these are not broken. These are amazing. And it comes with an ornament that says unfailing love, John 1 14, a thrill of hope. This is going to make a really cute gift for you to give to someone this year. So, you know, it's got like a little little pom-pom on it and a little wooden ornament with a cup for only $9.90. Is that real? Nine? Yeah. No, it's not $9.99. It's $10. <laughs> I was off by a penny. And um, I mean, for $10, you could, you know, put some candy or some little uh, tea in here or hot cocoa or all kinds of things you could put in here. You could put a little gift card in there, some little Bible journaling supplies, all kinds of fun stuff to do. So here's what we're going to do, guys. I am going to give one of these prizes away. And I'm going to make, um, I think I'm going to make my own little mystery box to give away. I think that's what I'll do. So I'll take one of these prizes plus some other fun mystery surprises. And we're going to give them away in December. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you will be notified. Also, if you're in the newsletter, you're going to be notified of of our prizes and things like that. We do a lot of giveaways here. So let me know in the comments which one you would like me to put in the mystery box that we will give away for Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye!